Hey there and welcome to the general theme settings video. Now that we've gone over the WordPress basics, it's time to look into the settings of our theme. This is where we'll learn how to really make a theme your own and go over each setting step and the creative flexibility and freedom that it offers us. Let's dive in without too long of an intro. The first one we're going to discuss is the appearance tab on your dashboard. Here's where you begin your journey with your new theme, where you install it and activate it. The second tab is called Flex Admin. Inside, you're going to find three areas, My Account, Style Kits, and Edit Style. My Account contains information regarding your theme or subscription status, other flow products you may have purchased, what global style kit you have active, and so forth. The Style Kits have a self-descriptive name. Here you can view the Style Kits available to you and decide which one you want to set as your global one. And in the Edit Style area, you can choose and set the color schemes and typography setting for your theme. And last but certainly not least, we have the Flow Theme tab, which contains six other areas inside of it, namely Introduction, Header, Layouts, Footer, Style, and Generics. Introduction is the first one we see, and here is where we can take a tour of our theme and access its documentation. In Header, we can choose between the existing header templates or just go ahead and create our own custom header using Flexblocks. Layouts offer us a variety of existing layout templates for galleries, blog posts, and miscellaneous pages like Search, Archive, and 404 pages. Just as in Header, in Footer we can choose between available footer templates or exercise our creativity and create our own with the help of Flexbox. In Style, we can decide on the typography and form styles that will be used across your website. You can choose from the available ones, create a custom or upload Adobe or Google fonts. And generics represent the best of the rest. In here, you can upload and select favicons, set URL logs, insert custom CSS or JS code as needed, enable the preloader option, or review your changelog, among other things. And that's it for today's video. Congrats, you're one step closer to designing the website you've always dreamed of. See you in the next video.